Vampire killing spree in remote Peru, an innovative way of saving our coral reefs and waves could power the land down under. This is Planet 100. Welcome to Planet 100, the top environmental news stories of the day in 100 seconds or less. I'm Sarah Backhouse and it's Friday, August 20th. The BBC reports that at least four children have died after rabid vampire bats have attacked Awajun indigenous communities in a remote part of Peru. More than 500 people were reportedly bitten by the vampire bats and Peru's health ministry has sent emergency teams to vaccinate villagers in the most affected area of Uracusa, located close to the border with Ecuador. Most have now been vaccinated and are safe from future attacks. Rabies outbreaks from vampire bats are a regular occurrence in Amazon communities. The highest death toll came in 1990 when 73 people were killed in Brazil. With news that rising water temperatures are killing Indonesia's coral reefs at one of the fastest rates ever recorded, enter an innovative solution to saving reefs. Scientists at the University of Hawaii at Manau and the Smithsonian Institution are building up a bank of frozen sperm and embryos of Hawaiian coral species to protect them from extinction. In theory, the frozen cells can be unfrozen 100 years in the future to restore populations. Hawaiian corals are particularly impacted by pollution as well as destructive fishing practices such as dynamite fishing and trawling. And finally, one of the benefits of being an island nation wave power. The World Energy Council just named Australia's southern shores as the world's most promising site for the development of wave power. If just 20% of the possible wave power sites in Australia were developed, the whole country could be run entirely by sea. And that's our show for today. See you tomorrow for more Planet 100 News.